before we get today's show started, I got a question for you, and I want you to really take the time and answer this bad boy in the comments below. Would you trade up in the 2024 NFL Draft? We're at pick 29. Would you go up to get a selected player that you would like? In today's show, we're going over these things. Jared Goff is Vanilla Vic. This was hilarious. Hennon Hooker spoke. We're going to talk about that. Panay Sewell defending Dan Campbell in an interesting subject. This one is going to be a conversation. I want to take a minute to talk about it. Justin Simmons, should he get traded to the Detroit Lions? Heavy.com thinks so. We're going to get into that. Lions seven-round mock draft from all Lions. Christian Boer, we're going to go over the mock draft. I actually like it. Ben Johnson hate is getting ridiculous. And the Washington Commanders, they're salty. They're salty. But let's go ahead and start with Hendon Hooker. Let's start this bad boy out with a fun one. Hendon Hooker spoke and says, gave me an opportunity to get my feet wet. And a real action, like especially the competitive situation. I'll explain. Sometimes I'd be thrown into the red zone. Sometimes I'd be thrown into third down. So it's a blessing to be there and be able to command the huddle and direct guys and give guys accurate balls so they can be playmakers. That's the funny part. Jared's my guy. He's a great teammate, a great guy off the field and baller, as you can see. He can sling it, very smart, and sometimes I give him a little joke about the athleticism, call him Vanilla Vic. That is Jared Goff's new name. I'm sorry. Vanilla Vic is hilarious. Hilarious. And I think that <laughs> when Jared Goff does run, he is the... He's so he's so mobile. Like it, I don't even know who's who's more mobile, uh, Michael Vick or Jared Goff. But this is hilarious because last year Jared Goff spoke. He knows that his spin move sucks, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm I'm known for my spin moves." And it, it's hilarious because it's an inside joke. Also for the fact that he actually did run in the playoffs to get a first down. Look, Jared Goff's not athletic at all like that. Um, and that's okay. Everyone's got strengths and weaknesses. We all know. Uh, but it's hilarious that, that his name is Vanilla Vic. I, I don't know if I can ever go back to Jared Goff again. I think Vanilla Vic is perfect. Shout out to Hendon Hooker. Again, just like beginning of the show, would you trade up in the 2024 NFL draft? T for trade or P for pass? Blow up the comments. Let's continue on here. The Detroit Lions linked to a trade for a safety, Justin Simmons, out of the Denver Broncos. Draft pick in 2016, he was drafted the third round, 36 overall. He's a really good safety, 6'2", uh, 30, uh, 32 inches. He's a big guy. Um, he, he's a really good safety. Right now, I think it's around $14 million for a contract this year. Why I think it is not a smart idea to trade for Mr. Justin Simmons. It's not that easy. It's a lack of production. Two forced fumbles, 53 tackles, eight pass defense, three receptions, pretty good numbers for a safety. That's not the problem when it comes to Justin Simmons in the Detroit Lions. Why? Why get a safety? That is one of probably the strongest rooms we have in this team. I understand that C.J. Gardner-Johnson may not be back here, but... That's because you have Brian Branch, Tutu Malfano, Kirby Joseph. We're good at the safety position. We need to get better at the cornerback position. So in, in, in this article, when it talks about it, to getting Justin Simmons, it didn't say compensation package. We don't know what the compensation package would be. But in all honesty, out of all any trade I could think of, this may be one that doesn't really make any sense. If you're talking DT, cornerback, guard, Okay, but safety, we are strong there. We are absolutely strong. And so it doesn't make a lot of sense, in my opinion, to make a trade. So question for you, would you trade for Justin Simmons? T for trade or P for pass? You may disagree with me. I want to know in the comments below. What you can't disagree on is that prize picks is awesome. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. They'll match your deposit match up to $100. And if you want to spice up your NFL Sunday, get started with Prize Picks right now. Prize Picks is skill-based, real money, daily fantasy. And if you're looking to have more fun on game day, look no further than Prize Picks. You want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite rapper like Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find community plays the promise to have the view entries from the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. 
Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your players stay in play even if they get injured in the first half. For football and basketball games, if a player gets injured in the first or second, the player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. For tonight's hockey game, I got Nathan McKinnon and William Nylander getting more than 1.5 points in this game. So get started with Prize Picks right now. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. Match deposit match up to $100. And they say, why is it code CLNS? Because that's our ad agency partner. Use code CLNS. It's real easy. Four letters get $100 match when you sign up. So download the app today, and the link will be in the description and comment section of this video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. You know what I really like? I really like Panay Sewell. Panay Sewell is a dog. And... He defended Dan Campbell going forward on fourth down. He really, really says, I don't agree with the criticism towards coach. Got his back at the end. Sewell said, VA fan. If he tells me to jump off a cliff, I'm right next to him. I'm so serious. So whatever he says, he calls. We just got to execute. It's on us. That's my guy. Question for you. Question for you really quick. Do you agree with Panay Sewell? Do you agree that Dan Campbell is a good coach? Let me know in the comments below. I love what Panay Sewell did here, folks. I, I got to keep it 100. He's defending his coach is the way it should be. And I get it. The, the fourth down is going for it all the time. It sucks. And we all can complain about it. And, and it's okay. You know, it, it criticize, critique. We all have opinions. We have the right to do so. But let's keep it 100. Without Dan Campbell and his aggressive play calling, we wouldn't be in the NFC Championship game. So it, it burned us in that game, and I wish we probably would have done maybe another field goal instead, but that's nitpicking. We wouldn't be in this position. Dan Campbell has took the Detroit Lions from a terrible Matt Patricia team to the NFC Championship game, winning two home playoff games, 12, uh, 14 wins altogether, 12 wins in the regular season. It's not going to be the case if he is not being aggressive. So as much as we want to complain about it or, or argue, we wouldn't be in this position anyways if it wasn't for Dan Campbell. So um, I support Dan Campbell. I may not agree with everything that he does, but just like when it comes to our general manager, Brad Holmes, I always defer to them. They're the experts, and I'm going to take their, their word for it. Panay Sewell's right. People run through a wall for Dan Campbell, coach of the year. All right, the guy's amazing. So we can, we can critique, but this hate on him, I, I'm not a big fan of the Dan Campbell hate. Critique, fine. Hate, not a big fine there. Let's continue on here. Let's talk about mock draft done by Christian Boer of All Lions Fan Nation. Interesting mock draft. Here's the picks that we do have right now. Okay, we got pick 29, 61, 73, 92, 165, 206, and 246. We don't have a fourth-round pick, but basically that second, third-round pick is our fourth-round pick because they're two-thirds, and it's it's a late third-round pick. So it's not too bad right there when it comes to selections. In the mock draft, this is what he did here, and I'm just doing one. He went Quinnen Mill Mitchell, CB Toledo. I love this pick. Him and Kool-Aid, I think, would be the actual ideal pick at 29. I like what he brings. He is the torpedo, the, uh, the Toledo torpedo. And clearly, Christian Boer knows that the Detroit Lions need a cornerback position. I honestly think that's probably the spot they go at, at 29, is cornerback. I'm just, depending who's there, if, if Quinn Young Mitchell is there, I think I think he could be the pick. I think this is an honest, honestly, a very solid selection right there. He knows what he's talking about. Mason Smith, defensive line, love it there. Again, we need pr we need help on the defensive line. We need to get pressure. We know this. It's a big deal. Get, help someone out with the Lee McNeil. You can do that. Going Jonah Ellis, defensive end, Utah, uh, a, a developing pass rusher who I think he could make some noise as a rookie. Rookie, I do. My, my thing is here is, do they wait till round three to go to go edge? Not 100% sure they'll do that. Johnny Wilson, wide receiver, tight end. Good wide receiver, developmental. The question is, 
would you actually do this? We have to see what free agency does. Because if they're going to bring back Josh Reynolds, they probably don't take a right, wide receiver right there. Because the, you got to understand, there's only going to be five or six wide receiver spots. So you got St. Brown, that's one. Jamison Williams, that's two. Khalif Raymond's on contract, that's three. You basically got two more spots, right? You got two more spots, so could they bring back Josh Reynolds and Donovan Peoples-Jones? If they don't, this could be a selection. It could be. Question for you before we continue on here. Grade the mock draft, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know in the comments below. Let's continue on with this bad boy of this mock draft. And center Dylan McMahon. I don't know a lot about him. This would be a developmental selection here. I know that he's universal. He can play both uh, left, right guard, play center as well. It's developmental. Kicker, Reacher, Alabama. I, 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 they could go kicker here. I don't know if he'll be uh, Richard, Alabama, but Booer's got it right. They very well could go kicker. And then developmental, Quantez Stiggers, cornerback, doesn't really matter. I don't even think there's a great chance that their seventh-round pick, whoever you select, is not even going to be on the team. Again, grade the mock draft, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm going to give this one an A. I actually really like it. Um... I think it's actually realistic, too. 100% realistic. This is hitting the needs, and it's generally where you want to find your cornerbacks late in the first round, and then you've seen what we did in, in the rounds two and three throughout Brad Holmes' history, a lot of defensive linemen, so it kind of does make a lot of sense. It truly, truly does. So I'm going to give it an A. Let me know in the comments below. This hate for Ben Johnson from the Washington Commanders and what he's receiving is absolutely ridiculous. So many rumors coming out that Ben Johnson didn't take the job because he interviews bad, he's not the right mind. All this came out after he turned down the Washington commander's job. And then the reports are that Washington didn't really want them. Yeah, they did. He was their number one choice, and they failed. So that now they're trying to skew and ruin his reputation, that is Ben Johnson, to make the Washington Commanders fan, fan base feel better, that they got the third coach on their list instead of number one. They're salty about it. Ben Johnson's awesome. He's articulate. He's intelligent. He's beloved by a lot of people in the National Football League, coaches and players alike. The Commanders are salty. Sorry, you didn't get him. But just like Dan Campbell told Jared Goff, you're good enough for Detroit, Jared Goff. Hey, Ben Johnson, you're good enough for Detroit, Ben Johnson. That's the way that I got it right here. Folks, we're dropping videos every single day. Get ready for that notification bell. All that lovely stuff with that said, folks, adios.